Hello and welcome back to Silent Hunter 3. Um, as you can see, the uh, food is going ape shit. That happens. Uh, I just uh, clicked something I shouldn't have clicked. Uh, I was trying to move the camera around and I uh, used uh, WASD, uh, which is not the correct thing to do. Uh, so let's take a look. Well, it's a bit windy, uh, but the sea state isn't too bad. Uh, we are still making our way up the coast of Norway, so we'll just uh, speed up some time uh, so we can reach the uh, patrol area around Bear Island. Let's grab these things. Uh, we'll grab that one. And we got a radio message uh, from U652 scuttling after heavy damage by swordfish bomber. Okay. So we. Um, German submarine fleet has uh, lost one of its U boat U boats. <laughs> uh, so that's, uh, that's bad. We're gonna see. Uh, quite a few of these radio messages or radio reports of uh, German U-boats being sunk uh, all through uh, all throughout 1942 and 1943 if we ever get to uh, to that point uh, so, so far the weather isn't too bad but it, that's probably going to change uh, pretty soon especially once we get out in the uh, up in the Arctic Sea uh, we've got a task force. Uh, I don't know what this task force is, but it spawns every time you uh, start a patrol out of Bergen. Uh, it probably spawns, uh, well, every time you start a patrol. Uh, maybe not specifically starting in Bergen, but anyways, it's uh, moving fast. Seems to be kind of small, so I don't know if it's a uh, destroyer or... Um, uh, I don't know, a torpedo boat perhaps? Uh, I've never actually found out, I never went after it, so I don't know. It's heading southeast. So I don't know, it might be uh, kind of tempted to find out what it is. So I might uh, take a look at that sometime. Uh, Still pretty windy. Sea state is not that bad. Uh, we can still do 12 knots, which uh, pretty okay. Let's just continue to sp spend some time speeding up. Uh, just taking a look at the map to see if there's going to be any resu resupply submarines. Uh, and I know there's going to be one uh, in the North Atlantic. There's one close to the Canadian coast. Uh, there's going to be one uh, south of Iceland, southwest, I believe, of Iceland. But it's probably going to be uh, too far away um, from us to be of any use. Um, because, I don't know if you noticed, but there's actually one, the PQ and the JW convoys actually uh, swings around Iceland. Um, so that's another good spot to hunt for convoys. Uh, let's actually see, yeah, the, there's some allied air cover from, from Iceland uh, from 1941, yeah, so, so there are some enemy aircraft in the area around Iceland. Which, of course, uh, is a problem, and wow, the sea state is uh, much worse. Uh, yeah, some real, real wind. Let's see if I can uh, get the crew to get their raincoats on. This guy never puts us on his uh, raincoat, but oh yeah, the sea state is is wow. Look at those waves. Yeah, there's some big waves. So this is um, 
this is basically what, what what kind of weather and sea state we will be operating in uh, for most of the time. Uh, yeah, but this uh, this type of weather will probably go on for quite quite a while. This is just oh, by the way, it's um, it's almost uh, one uh, one a.m. But it's still, as you can see, very uh, there's a lot of daylight still. You can see the moon on the horizon. So in the summer months, um, you don't really have to worry about uh, bad visibility, except for uh, you know rain uh, and fog. But you can see the the nights are not dark at all there's no there's no not going to be any problems to uh, see ships oh man uh, to see any ships uh, in the middle of the night but that's uh, that's good um, I don't know how I don't really like how he's looking at me that that look kind of weird now he's acting like nothing ever happened yeah, these waves are uh, pretty rough, but we still have to keep going north. And it's pretty early in the morning for me, so I got some coffee. Uh, The sea state improved. Seems like the waves are a bit smaller. Hard to tell. But as you can see, we're bobbing around quite, uh, quite good. So we'll just uh, keep on trucking. As I said before, the area around Murmansk would be a, you'd think it would be a good uh, place to hunt for convoys, but I haven't had much luck with that. Uh, there doesn't seem to, no convoys seems to be spawning around Murmansk, so I don't know. This is, um, this is the best area around the island and we got a radio message Heydrich has died of his wounds so that is uh, Reinhard Heydrich um, which was a real psychopath he was the leader of the uh, SS own uh, intelligence service the SD and he was assassinated in um, former Czech Republic uh, by a couple of dissidents. He threw uh, like a hand grenade in his car, uh, and I know at least. Well, I don't know if both dissidents were uh, able to. One of them at least did uh, barricade himself inside of a church. Uh, he was, of course. Uh, he fought to the last drop of blood and the German retaliation on the Czech people were quite uh, quite harsh I think they uh, more more or less eradicated a couple of villages uh, but uh, the world got rid of Heydrich which was not a bad bad thing because he was a uh, he was a very bad man uh, so we got another radio message. Oh, here we go. Resupply boat U-463 arrived at his patrol area and will be available in the vicinity of the of grid BD-35 North Atlantic until late June 1943. So that was the one I was talking about. Oh man, he is actually much further away from Iceland than I, than I remembered. 
So he's basically smack dab in the middle of the Atlantic. The North Atlantic. So there you go. There are of course uh, quite a few other uh, places you can uh, resupply in. Here's the German ship uh, Corrientes, Corrientes, I don't know, uh, in the Canary Islands. There's also another one in the Max Albrecht in El Ferrol. I think that's in uh, Spain. I think Portugal is over here. And of course we have the two milk cows, as they were called, the German resupply boats. Uh, I don't think there's another... No, that's probably it. And looking at the weather, it's not too bad. You can uh, still pull 12 knots. And we are, well, about 30 hours away from uh, the last waypoint. And uh, I actually think I'm gonna start setting a uh, kind of zigzagging troll to the south of the island. Uh, and once we get to the last waypoint, I'm going to go north. As you can see, it's quite shallow around the island. Uh, and if we can, I'd like to uh, stick to the deeper waters. Uh, it's, it's kind kind of uh, shallow. Uh, another radio message. Uh, from the Lehman Radio News. Yesterday was the Battle of Midway. Four Japanese carriers were sunk. German forces has, have uh, Sevastopol under siege. And there's a quote from uh, Admiral Chester Nimitz. Our citizens can now rejoice that a mo momentous victory is in the making. Perhaps we will be forgiven if we claim we are about midway to our objective. So uh, kind of a play on words there. Uh, and we have Sevastopol under siege, which is in the Crimean Peninsula. Here it is. So it's June 1942, so uh, the German uh, summer offensive, Operation Blue, is uh, in full swing, I believe. I can't remember the exact date the, the offensive started, but it was definitely in June 1942. Um, making their way towards Stalingrad and down south towards the Caucasus. So there's, uh, there's going to be quite a few things going down in 1942. We're also going to have the uh, American uh, uh, invasion of North Africa in uh, November 42 in Morocco and um, Algeria. Uh, is there another place as well? Can't remember, but definitely in Morocco and Algeria. Um, and as you can see, the the British Empire has control of Tobruk. We've been uh, the Africa Corps has been pushed back a bit. And also in 1942, we are going to see the I think Operation Lightfoot well, is what it was called. The uh, uh, the Battle of um, man, I lost lost the name. El Alamein, of course, that's the one. That would be the major points of uh, things happening happening in 1942. And we can take a look at the Pacific. I think Port Morse, Morseby, I can't remember if that was captured or not. I think the Japanese tried to capture it. Hmm, yeah. But there's some stuff going on around the world. 
1942 would be the the turning point point in the war, not only for the Japanese. Um, I think 1942 was also the kind of the high point of the Third Reich. So it was uh, pretty much downhill from this uh, this point in time. Uh, 1942 was actually also the second happy time for the German U-boats who um, started to hunt convoys close to the American coast. And they were quite successful because the, the United States uh, Merchant Marine and uh, Coast Guard and Navy was not prepared for uh, German submarine warfare so close to the American mainland. So they got quite a rude awakening, but of course that all turned against the Germans. Okay, so we are effectively in the patrol area. So I think what we're going to do is to go to periscope depth and we'll take... Um, We'll have our sonar man see if he can hear anything with, on the hydrophones. I'll see you again. So we are, well actually, to avoid the, the waves as much as possible, let's go down to 30 meters. And we're going to see the there we go, the diesel engines have stopped, and now we're going to see the electric motors take over. There we go. Going down into the depths. How deep is it? Derzeitige Tiefe 2-0. Tiefe unter Kiel ist 274 meters. Quite deep. So we will run submerged for a while until the battery goes down to, I don't know, 50%. There we go. No contacts. <clears throat> so let's uh, surface. So as you can see, the submarine isn't bobbing around, which uh, will help the crew fatigue. They won't be, uh, they won't lose as much endurance or fatigue as they would uh, closer to the surface or on the surface because of the bad sea state. Here we are, about to broach. Here comes the bow of the submarine, the U-boat. Oh, I would love to have a uh, radar warning receiver. It's gonna be a while though. Hopefully we can uh, get some renown quickly. But I guess we have, we don't need to um, to be. Um, we don't need to care as much about um, enemy air power for right now. Uh, it's gonna get worse uh, once uh, we go towards Iceland. There's probably gonna be oh, there was some lag. Oh, and the weather has improved. Uh, since there was that lag, that could potentially mean that we are close to uh, something big. Let's uh, momentarily go uh, below the surface to take, uh, take a listen with the hydrophones. 
it's kind of a meta gaming thing, but you know when you're close to a convoy, convoy lag starts happening. And we are below the surface. Not hearing anything on the hydrophones. Oh, there we go. We got a contact. Warship moving very fast, moving away, bearing 135. Let's go to periscope depth. A warship. Hmm. Might be a Soviet, or it might be a part of a convoy. Hmm, well, I guess we'll see. If we can get up to periscope depth. Bearing one three five. He is probably too far away, but I guess we'll guess we'll have to find out. Oh, that was the. Uh, how did I? Uh, how do you? There we go. Just trying to figure out how to uh, raise the observation scope. Oh uh, yeah, I'm not seeing much of anything. Oh wait. Oh, I think that was a smudge on the uh, on the periscope. I thought that was a smoke. Uh, that was smoke coming from a ship. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything, so uh, let's surface the boat. So I'm a bit curious, uh, so let's head 135. Because uh, I'm a bit intrigued. Might be a, a, a lone warship but usually it's part of a convoy I don't expect a lone destroyer being out here so let's see if we can get a uh, get a visual contact Oh, and this stuff happens now. The as you can see, the graphics are bugged out. Um, I don't know that happens sometimes. Uh, the only real uh, remedy to it is to um, restart the. I don't have, you don't have to um, restart the game. Uh, you have to save the game and then uh, load the save. That usually fixes it. I don't know why it happens. But it does. Not always, but sometimes. Uh, but I think we'll keep going for now. That warship is probably going pretty fast. I think, let's see. Yeah, I, th I think he said very fast. Yeah, very fast. Let's go below the surface again. I'll see if we can uh, pick it up on the hydrophones. Oh, here we go. A merchant moving slow, closing, bearing 274. Interesting. Uh, 274. Let's uh, actually. Uh, where's the H? I'm not 
hearing anything. I'm not hearing anything at all. But apparently our sonar man is. 274 and he's heading this way. Hmm. So that's about here. So let's turn to 220 degrees. I'm actually going to uh, go up on the surface again, uh, try to get a, get a uh, visual contact. You know what? Let's actually go 250 degrees. And we should basically be going towards him. at an angle. I don't want to run run straight into him. Oh, we got to have the watch officer on the bridge. Get up a bit. So let's see. Oh, of course not. I was going to the hydrophones, but um, we are surfaced. So he should be at uh, like 20 degrees. Uh, closing, long range, okay. We'll just have to keep an eye out. Uh, you know what, let's go down to periscope depth and verify that he is still on the same bearing. Well, I'm gonna let the sonar operator Tell me where where the contact is. So let's uh, follow near sound contact. No sound contact. Contact. Oh. So it's only been. Uh, Only been uh, like five minutes. Go to two seven zero degrees. Uh, am I being stupid? No, I'm not. This is where we are heading. Yeah. I don't know the bearing he... Uh, the bearing he gave me, if it's uh, 135 here. That would be on a completely different course. Ah. Uh, Maybe I'm overthinking. Let's continue on. There we go. Closing bearing 143. 
143. So is he calling out the bearing from my sh ship? He's not actually calling out the bearing on the compass. Hmm. We are heading west, yes. Okay, let's try to... let's go one... one for five degrees. I might just be stupid. I remember. Can you please follow the sound contact? We lost it. Okay. So let's go back to two, two seven zero degrees or close to it. No sound contact. There we go. One three seven. Closing long range. Uh, see, I might be just stupid. I no, this is the heading this is the front of the u-boat and this is the bearing we're he heading uh, so according to this the uh, merchant should be southwest of us if I turn turn to three Two zero. And I I can't remember. <laughs> well, we'll have to see. See if we can. Uh, No so sound contact. Well, uh, I have to figure this out. It's been a while. Don't really remember how to to do this, but this should be the bearing. Um, yeah, this is the heading basically, or the, the bearing we're heading on. Uh, but the bearing to the target. Isn't it one? F isn't it this one? Okay, I'll have to I'll have to figure that one out. Uh, anyway, so I'm gonna stop the video here. So uh, thank you very much for watching. Please uh, like and subscribe if you feel like it. Uh, and I hope to see you in the next video where we'll we'll hopefully uh, be in contact with a convoy. Uh, so I guess we'll see what happens.